Welcome to a lesson on how to determine the parabola of best fit using the least squares solutions. Suppose we want to find the parabola of best fit in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c for the points 1 comma 7, 3 comma 2, 6 comma 1, and 7 comma 2, which I've already graphed on the coordinate plane here on the right. If all the points were on the same parabola, then the ordered pairs would satisfy the equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c and using the four points, we can form the following system of equations. We're using the ordered pair one comma seven. We substitute seven for y and one for x, which gives us seven equals a times one squared plus b times one plus c, which we can write as a plus b plus c equals seven. Using the ordered pair three comma two, we would have the equation two equals a times three squared plus b times three plus c, which we can write as nine a plus three b plus c equals two. Using the third ordered pair, we would have the equation one equals a times six squared plus b times six plus c, which we can write as 36a plus six b plus c equals one. And then finally, using the ordered pair seven comma two, we would have the equation two equals a times seven squared plus b times seven plus c, which we can write as 49a plus seven b plus c equals two. So again, from here, if all the points are on the same parabola, all the ordered pairs would satisfy the system of equations for the same values of a, b, and c. Let's also notice that we could write the system of equations in the form of matrix A times vector x equals vector b, where matrix A would be the coefficient matrix. Notice from the first equation, the first row is 1, 1, 1. Using the second equation, the second row is 9, 3, 1. Using the third equation, the third row is 36, 6, 1. And using the fourth equation, the fourth row is 49, 7, 1. Vector x would be the three by one matrix containing the entries of a, b, and c. And vector b would be the four by one matrix containing the constants seven, two, one, two. So solving the system of equations is the same as solving the equation matrix a times vector x equals vector b. Let's go ahead and solve the system or the matrix equation by writing an augmented matrix and writing the augmented matrix in reduced echelon form. The system will have a solution if all the points would fall on the same parabola. If there's no solution, then all the points would not fall on the same parabola, and we would have to find the parabola of best fit, in this case, using the least squares solutions. So let's go ahead and set up the augmented matrix, where the first row would be 1, 1, 1, 7, the second row 9, 3, 1, 2, the third row 36, 6, 1, and the fourth row of 49, 7, 1, 2. Writing the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form, notice how we have a contradiction in row four. Row four indicates zero equals one, which of course is not true. And because there's no solution to the system or the matrix equation, we know all four points will not fall on the same parabola, and therefore, we'll have to find the parabola of best fit. Again, in this lesson, we'll use the method of least squares solutions. Let's set this up on the next slide. For review, when finding the least squares solution to the equation matrix A times vector X equals vector B, step one, we compute A transpose times A and A transpose times vector B. Step two, we form an augmented matrix for the matrix equation A transpose times A times vector X equals A transpose times vector B and write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form. The solution is a least squares solution, which in our case will give us the values of a, b, and c for the parabola of best fit. Let's go ahead and find a transpose. To find a transpose, the columns of matrix A become the rows in a transpose. And now we need to find a transpose times a, which I've already done. The result is the three by three matrix shown here on the right. You may want to pause the video and check this. We also need to find a transpose times vector b which again I've already done here. The result is a three by one matrix, again shown here on the right. And again, you may want to pause the video and verify this. And now we need to solve the equation a transpose times a times vector x equals a transpose times vector b, which would be this matrix equation here. The next step is to write the augmented matrix and write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form. The first row indicates a equals 24 50 ninths. The second row indicates b equals negative 240 59ths. 
and the third row indicates that C equals 627 fifty-ninths. And therefore, the parabola of best fit in the form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c is y equals 24 fifty-ninths x squared minus 240 fifty-ninths x plus 627 fifty-ninths. Let's go ahead and graph this on the coordinate plane containing the four points we were given. Notice how the parabola is an excellent fit. Notice how the parabola is an excellent fit for the given four points. I hope you found this helpful.